Tonight is the opening night of our community concert tour called Opera Tastings. It's like a culinary concert where uh, we partner with different chefs and sommeliers from around the city to do tastings of food perfectly matched or uh, specifically matched with different opera selections as a way to introduce people to opera and hopefully just as you would develop your palate for wine and food, you can develop your palate for opera. Well, I think Opera Tastings is a wonderful way to introduce new audiences to opera that might not have a lot of experience listening either to the Met broadcast or maybe they've never been to an opera because it's a very intimate setting and they get a real um, vast variety of repertoire in one evening. I think it's a perfect combination to bring food and music together. Of course, all this would have been happening much more regularly in the times in which most of these operas were composed where um, the intersections of like socializing and meals and music were much more interconnected. In creating these events, the kind of food that you'll be experiencing is a wide variety. It's going to run the gambit. I think there'll be something for everybody. If anyone is feeling apprehensive about opera, we would say just come, eat the food, drink the drinks, and listen and see how it goes from there. We are certain that you will love it just as much as we do. So just come, eat, drink, and enjoy. Okay, let's be honest. A lot of people think they don't like opera, even though they've never actually been to opera, or even in many cases, heard an opera singer live. And it's, an, it's a completely different experience when you're in the room with this incredible voice and you hear this sound. I've sat next to people at opera tastings who have turned to me and said, I had no idea I loved opera. This happens every single time we do it. For the folks that have never experienced opera, this is a good event for them to go to because it's very much hands-on. I think the most fun that we have tonight is that we get to go out into the audience and play with the, play with the audience, have fun with them, joke with them, uh, invite them to be a part of the scene. And I think for outsiders to the opera world, that's great because opera kind of has a, a feel of like standoffishness at times. And we're saying, no, 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 no. We want you to come in. We want you to have fun with us. And we hope that this event can do it. The artists that we have are very engaging and that mixed with the food and the drink just creates an experience that I think people go quite wild for it. And then they want more, they want to come. And, uh, and we lead them to our main stage productions that happened in the, in the spring. I love how they create these events that bring in an unorthodox crowd in an unorthodox uh, uh, environment. I think this is really exciting and they are probably one of the most supportive companies to their community. We do educational outreach, we do these types of concerts, we're in schools. I don't know a place that does it as well as opera theater. We wanted to find a way to uh, introduce new people to opera, so if you've enjoyed your experience at Opera Tastings. We encourage you to come and join us at our festival season beginning this spring in May with Puccini's Madame Butterfly.